But a game that wasn't so easy to yeah. call <laughs> was the Cheetahs versus the Stormers. Fire, bro. That Fire. was ultimate. Bro, we are all attacking. Nobody go <laughs> defend. <laughs> Nobody go <laughs> defend. It was for everyone home. It was 33 34 to the Cheetahs. Just as it was end to end action. If you do anything, go watch that game <laughs> and you will see sidesteps. Goose steps mm. that you have never seen since you've in high school, right? Mm, maybe you've seen them. No, you've know, seen them. You've seen them. You've seen but, them. But yeah, in preseason, like you haven't seen it. So for me, but the man that was the the catalyst of all yes. of that was Roscoe Sp- what? Spec-, Spec Man. Spec, Spec Magic. Magic. Spec Magic. Spec Magic. Ooh, right? What Seven a point! Superstar. Yeah. Trying to translate into the the fifteen yep. game. Got a hat trick. Got a hat trick of tries, Yo. but hey, like you saw that hey, with more players by his defensive structure on the wing. Had it for him, man. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. I mean, you know, it's very, it's very difficult to find an all-round great uh, winger that can attack and defend and be, you know, um, have all the impacts going forward and coming back. And it's, it's, it's dude. I mean, it happens. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's sort of one of those things. He, maybe he can still improve. But I mean, Makazole Mapimpi is one of the, the wingers that is not not that great defensively, yeah. great moving forward. And I mean, he can get you the tries, but he can't stop the tries for you. So I don't. I don't think you can really crucify him, especially. I think this is like sort of like the week we can celebrate Speckman for all the for the hat tricks for, for for well for the hat trick for the side steps for the flair and 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 everything. I mean, also just looking all around for the cheaters, um, the the influence of the of the sort of like the experienced players. You, oh, know? you know, I'm a fan of experience, man. Right? You know, definitely, you know, your boys, definitely. Uh, Ruin Pino and Francois Stein, where I was. <laughs> I'm like, obviously, Francois Stein made it to the World Cup squad. I was really yeah. happy for yeah. him. Did he win two, win two World Cup? Uh, yeah, no, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he's played like every position in the back line. But Definitely. He, for me, what, 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 what he brings is like, because now, because like back in the day, he was, mm. he was not really a Spackman, but he was the X Factor player. Yeah, definitely. He, he was the player that you know, the impact player that you give him the ball, he's going to do something. Yeah. Whether he bounces somebody, whether he kicks it 80 meters, yeah. whether he drop kicks on the halfway line, like he was the man that, mm. that would really do something. And now that he's like, obviously he's getting to the twilight of his career. Yeah. Now he's learning to actually play like the actual structured format of the game. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And, and you know, I like what you say that because he's, as his twilight, I don't, mm. I don't think he's approaching. He's at his twilight right now. <laughs> hey, man, However, I'm to be positive, and, fam. and you know what's the best thing one can do at that age, playing mm. any sports? Mm. You you focus on what you know best. Mm. You don't try and want to run faster. You'll injure yourself. You don't mm. have the time to do that. Yeah. You come in, you bring in your experience that of playing uh, sports mentally. You run less and you but you're still Im- Im- impactful mm. with the ball or, or without the ball mm. and i mean his, his kicking boot is absolutely amazing that, that right, men right. can kick right eh? mm. and it's been fantastic one pinar leading at that at that nine is mm. fantastic you yeah, know? know and and you know i was speaking of of nines um we'll touch obviously into this when you're speaking about the wales and and, and england game you know i'm 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 just lately I've been very much um, interested in seeing how the nines operate locally in our in our shores and, and internationally and just seeing the the, the dynamic and uh, the what they bring into the game and what does it really mean to be a nine this, mm. this time around and he's he's playing in such a very cool uh, calm and classy uh, and class pay, uh, play mm. in that nine and it's been very great for the cheaters. And uh, I mean, ever since uh, uh, France came back, I think as of the uh, Super Rugby this hours, the mm. unlocked one, mm. you know, ever since they, he, he joined or rejoined the South African shores or the team, he's been playing, you know, and he's been very impactful for the cheaters going forward. And um, so it's been great to see some, some things like that. And, you know, it's, 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 he can only get better, but obviously within his within his, yeah. his age, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, speak, like you said about Ruin Pino, like for me, I think he should be in like the spring, but just because ah. the experience, no, not to play. Like the three scrum halves that they take on, so, like for me, because how he knows how to control a game, he might yeah. not be the quicker, but like he's played fly half as well in the, yes. like, so he understands the control of the game. Because I think we have a lot of good young scrum halves, but mm-hmm. it's understanding how to dictate, control the game and his kicking game is the best. 